Hi, I'm Kelly Ritchie. You may know me as a guitar player, singer, songwriter, or maybe a guitar instructor. Yes, those are things that I do. But what you might not know is that I'm also a life coach. I help people find meaning and purpose in life and to heal. Now, I've had my own journey through healing, and um, I'll talk a little bit about that, but mainly I want to focus on dreams. I had a dream. When I got a guitar when I was 15 years old, I'd struggled in school. I was dyslexic, and I didn't have a traditional learning style that worked for me. And um, so I, I struggled in school. And I loved music. I got a guitar. And that was that one thing that I found that, you know, I can do this. So I put a stake in the ground. I worked really hard. And I pursued that dream. And people always said, man, Kelly, you're lucky to have a dream and to have pursued it. And there's a lot of truth to that. But I viewed my dream as having a destination point. And I kept going and going and going, thinking, well, once I get here, then. Well, once I accomplish this, then I'll find happiness. And over time, I began to lose my passion for that thing that I loved most. And there were other things that I had dreamed of doing, too. But I had to accomplish this one thing first. So, you know, for me, I learned the hard way that as wonderful as it was to have a dream, that dreams did not have a destination point. Dreams were a journey. Dreams were a journey that brought happiness to my life at one point. They were what I was passionate about. And so once I began to shift my relationship with my dream or my dreams and allow myself to look at those things in my life that brought me happiness and to pursue them, not as something that I had to succeed at or that there was a finish line that I was going to one day accomplish that dream. There have been many accomplishments that I've made along the path of my musical dream. Once I saw that, that aha moment, ah, I had so much peace and I had a different relationship really in that moment in time with that thing that I had loved so much. I began to regain my passion and to broaden my life once again to where I allowed myself to dream. There were other things that I wanted to do. In, in high school, I was dyslexic, so a traditional learning style was not something that I flourished in. And um, hence why music became that one thing that I did, that I felt, you know, this is something I can do, but writing is something I'd always wanted to do. And I was afraid to say that out loud because I was dyslexic. I never felt good enough. Um, I'd written, I shoved under my bed everything that I'd written, and um, I was afraid to say that out loud. And, you know, that was a dream that I had. And I pursued that, finally. And I became a writing facilitator at Women Writing for a Change. And that's been one of my greatest accomplishments. And I'm still dyslexic. I still struggle with reading. But I write, and I own it, and I enjoy it. And you don't have to be a writer to write. If you write, you're a writer. So... You know, I'm learning in life that dreams are what make us happy. They're what bring meaning and purpose to life. You know, I, I thought that my life's purpose must be, you know, I'm an artist. Therefore, that's my purpose in life. I'd mistaken my talent for my purpose. Our purpose is what we do with our talents. That's what brings meaning and purpose to our life. That's where we find what we're most designed to do and to be when we explore those gifts that we have. So what I would like to find out is what dream do you have that maybe you can let yourself explore? What are those passions that you have? What if it wasn't a destination point, something that success or failure couldn't even touch? This is something about happiness that you have that you'd like to share. I'd love to hear what those things are. And they would inspire me.
and hopefully some of these things I've just shared might inspire you. So let's start a conversation. Let's talk about those things that inspire us and those things that might be holding us back could just be fear that we're turning something simple into something complicated and it doesn't have to be. And maybe we're limiting ourselves from something that could really bring us joy. Let's go for it. Please share. Okay. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.